Hello, cross watchers of Libra. I'm doing Libra first since it's Libra season. You guys are probably wondering what's going on with Libra. What are they doing for their birthday? What's happening in Libra's life? So if you are watching this video and if you are a Libra, keep in mind I'm doing this with the intention of the cross watcher or the cross watcher energy. And these are still general readings, so they may or may not resonate. Also, your person might not be watching tarot videos or they might not be watching my channel. But the intention here is not to throw shade, not to spill tea, not to spy. What does Cross Watcher need to know about Libra? Asking Archangel Michael to bring in guidance, Archangel Raphael. What does Cross Watcher need to know about Libra? What's going on with Libra? What is in the highest good of all to know at this time? For Cross Watchers, for the people drawn to this video, wondering about a Libra in their life. Some of you are, uh, I feel like a heartbroken energy or a longing energy. So I do feel some of you that are watching are watching because there's no contact or you're in separation from a Libra. And I feel other ones of you are like kind of like a newly reconciled or newly like decided to like work things out or work things through. But we'll see what the cards themselves have to say. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. All right. So at the foundation of it. We have two of pentacles, okay? So this is a lot going on. This is a, a this is really busy energy. So you could be dealing with a Libra who is stressed out and who has many things happening right now. I do feel that for some of you, you're dealing with a, a and I don't normally get this with two of pentacles, but I'm feeling it in this instance. I feel you may be dealing with a Libra in October whose temper might be a little bit short simply because they're feeling very spread thin. Uh, so it's probably not going to be a good idea uh, to ask this Libra the same question uh, like several times. Or are you sure? Or are you sure? Or, or you know, like, you know, like what's going on? Or what's wrong? Or what's wrong? Or like they're not going to do well with this. I feel like Libra might be feeling a little overwhelmed in... Uh, the month of October and it could be because it's still kind of like you know birthday season for them and people kind of tend to get emotional around their birthdays or they get very uh, they start thinking about where their life is going and where they're headed and and that can cause stress for certain people I do feel that for a lot of you you have a Libra who's really struggling with what they want. I think they want the relationship and they want you, but they're having a very hard time with their own kind of emotional struggles, you know, where they want to be. Um, so for whatever reason, you know, Two of Pentacles is not typically a card that I associate with needing space. But I feel like there's a lot of stress and a lot going on and this is causing them to need space or to want space. Uh, so... If you do feel like your Libra is a little bit distant or like not in the best mood and if you're like, hey, what's wrong? And if your Libra is telling you I'm just stressed out or nothing or I'm tired, they're telling you the truth. Uh, I would just say that they're not ready to discuss anything further um, at that time. And it's going to be a good idea to just kind of bring in some lighthearted energy or playful energy like they need that. They really, really need that. I do feel for some of you there's a Libra that wants to be with you, but an issue of relocation is coming up. So if your connection with this Libra is long distance, and if you've been hoping that they were going to come to you, um, that might be a deal breaker. They might be saying, you need to come to me. Or um, you all might not be long distance. You all might be, um, you know, uh, together right now. But Libra might be deciding that, hey, like, I need to move. Like, I'm going to another state or another city or another country or whatever. And uh, if you're going to be with me, then, then this is what needs to happen. Like, you need to go with me. So some of you are being like faced with a decision you know are you gonna relocate to be with your libra or go with your libra wherever they're going or are you gonna stay where you're at are you gonna stay put so for some of you i'm feeling that's like a choice or a decision that you're having to make um you have ten of wands coming up 
So again, a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, um, a lot of hard work that you know Libra is feeling overwhelmed or burdened. Um, I would suggest that you watch your sun sign and Venus sign love readings, cross watcher. Whatever your sun sign is, whatever your Venus sign is, because I feel like that reading with this reading is gonna make it more personal for you so you figure out maybe what your circumstances are with this person because I'm going over the different scenarios since these are general readings, but that might help you piece things together a little bit more. Uh, Ten of Wands also though to me is giving me the sense or the feeling that yes, your Libra is stressed, but they're stressed because they're getting things together for the sake of being in a relationship or being ready for a relationship or well, for the for the success of the relationship. So if there's been something that you and your Libra have been holding off, like maybe a travel or a trip to see each other or an engagement or a moving in together, you know, Ten of Wands makes me feel that in October, this is coming to uh, to to uh, completion, like whatever you all have been working towards or whatever needed to be fixed to be out of the way uh, is going to happen in October. But it's happening uh, as a result of a lot of hard work and a lot of stress. So I'll put it to you this way. If you feel like Libra is being distant or Libra is like kind of like, you know, uh, a little bit, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, mentally somewhere else uh those of you who are in contact those of you who are together i feel like your libra is really working hard for the sake of the relationship um so you know maybe try not to do the accusatory thing like you never pay attention to me or you don't care about me and like you're not invested like i would avoid doing that because i do feel like libra is doing everything that they can for you and like to make this work and i think they're very stressed and i think they might have some stuff going on keep in mind you know we have uh at the end of september we have that uh that new moon in libra so libras are going to be very much in their head they're going to be very much in the mental space thinking about everything that needs to happen everything that they're wanting to create in their life how to go about getting it so if your libra seems preoccupied in october especially the beginning of october they absolutely are but it's because of their thinking of all the things they're wanting to create they're thinking about all the ways they want to bring stability into their life so anything that you can do to make life easier for libra is going to be a good idea don't bend over backwards you know don't don't go putting yourself in an inconvenient situation but i think you know just you know how people have different love languages and different ways of expressing how they feel about someone. Some people are overly like, you know, with compliments and gifts and things like that. And some people are very practical, like lending a helping hand. I think your Libra needs that helping hand energy in October. I think that's going to help you all really bond and it's going to go a really long way if you can do that for your Libra. Next we have here the emperor okay so the emperor is gonna be really about um you know an energy of um foundation you know planning for the future um some of you are having uh, a father figure who might be kind of creating uh, an issue or um there could be issues with libra's father figure um libra could be very emotional uh, if, uh, if they have a father figure who has passed on or passed away, there could be something happening in October. And it could be the anniversary of something, you know, or the anniversary of a passing or the anniversary of a milestone. And they might be kind of like realizing or remember that, you know, like the dad's not around anymore. And so they might be very emotional about that. Or there could be something happening um, within their family. There could be an issue with the father. Um, that they're going to be very busy with or preoccupied with or they could be working very closely with a father or father figure for other ones of you the emperor energy is more so libra being in the energy of the emperor okay so fatherhood might be coming into question for some of you dealing with a libra uh maybe maybe some of you uh libras are realizing or you're hearing that you're about to be a father or maybe um you know some of some of uh cross watchers maybe you're like gonna make a libra a, 
a, a father or maybe cross watcher uh your libra is going to tell you that they want you to be a father or whatever there could be something in terms of fatherhood because the emperor the emperor card can also be associated with father kind of energy but it could also be associated with uh planning you know structure discipline you know laying down a foundation and it could sometimes for me in a relationship indicate a very strong personality like someone who's made up their mind about what the best way to do things is going to be. So don't be surprised if your Libra is all of a sudden stepping up with really big ideas or really big opinions. I feel like your Libra is really focused on the future and building a solid future, one that's going to be successful, one that's going to be long lasting, one that's going to work. So they're going to be very opinionated about how they want to do things or how things should be done. Okay, so keep this in mind. Keep this in mind when you're dealing with this energy. Uh, Emperor also is a major arcana card. So a lot of the times for me, you know, when the major arcana cards come up, it tells me that there's a significant uh, lesson, soul lesson, life lesson, you know, a moment of growth coming in through the relationship that you all have a very strong past life connection that you all may even have um, some kind of a soul contract with one another so i do feel those of you who are dealing with a libra i'm just gonna flat out say i feel like the relationship and it may not happen till mid to the end of october it's gonna kind of hit this thing of issues of headship like there might be a power struggle between you and your libra right like you know if, if you're the one that's you know in that emperor energy or if libra is the one that's in the emperor energy whoever is in the emperor energy is kind of stepping up like to take headship to take the lead to take the you know to take the masculine role in the relationship and so there could be some pushback or there could be some disagreement or it can be happening in a way where it feels kind of harsh for you um one bit of thing that i've noticed about the emperor even though the emperor can be very opinionated and kind of like take charge of a situation um, they're very experienced and they're very wise and so they're approaching it from their experience and because they care and because they mean well and because they want things to work and it might feel in some ways a little bit stifling you know or it might feel a little bit um, like like I said like like a power struggle kind of thing but you know I think you know you all are gonna have to find a balance I just feel there might be like 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 a locking of horns, like bumping heads, locking horns. Like, uh, you know, we have two people here who are wanting to drive. But whatever is going on with Libra, I just kind of feel like Libra is really like they're doing everything they can to make this work. They feel like they have a really clear plan. They have a really good idea. And I feel like they, they, they like they've just made up their mind that they want to be with you. They've made up their mind about how they want this relationship to go, how this relationship to be. And they don't seem to be very interested in considering other points of view or other opinions about how to get there. So if it's frustrating to you, before you go writing off this Libra and saying, you know, no, you know, I, 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 you know, I don't like that you're, you know, not considering what I want or I don't like that you're insisting this way, understand and know that they are coming from a loving place now obviously if it's putting you in a situation where something is abusive or toxic obviously if that's the case get the heck out of there you know don't tolerate that not even for a second but i feel in other ways you know it, it's just because they feel like they're looking out for you they're looking out for you those of you who've been you know involved with a libra where there's a significant age difference it might start to show like you might start seeing the challenges of that age difference in october again it's a general reading so the e energies are going to apply in different ways for different ones of you next we have here page of wands so page of wands is going to be a card that indicates um kind of like uh you know the, the passion kind of energy the fast moving energy it can also in some cases indicate immaturity so again like that to me just kind of emphasizes those of you who are dealing with a younger person 
um, or a much older person and you might be the younger person, there might be some conflict where, you know, whichever one of you is the younger person is just kind of being blamed as like, oh, well, you're young or you don't know, you know, you don't understand or you don't have experience. And, you know, I know a thing or two, you need to listen to me, that kind of energy. But the Page of Wands is a little bit headstrong, you know, and the Page of Wands is a little bit mischievous. And um, Page of Wands is kind of going to want to go out there and do what Page of Wands wants to do. Um, I do feel like this is causing a lot of passion between you guys like this aggravation or this frustration um you know <laughs> where i don't know like maybe you guys are arguing but then like you're having these passionate kind of makeups uh so i wouldn't be surprised if you know october is a bit of a roller coaster for those of you dealing with a libra and it could be where you know opinions are running high tempers are running high but also the passion is running high so it could be like a sorry i had to pause to sneeze um it could be like a um i can't stand you but oh my god i want you kind of energy at some points in 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 the in the month and that could be because of that karmic kind of soul connection i want to emphasize something about karmic not all of you are in a karmic relationship with a Libra. Some of you are. You know, that, that major arcana card does tell me it's a soulmate connection, someone from a past life. For some of you, it's karmic. For some of you, that it's not. Even when it comes to the karmic soulmates, there are different levels of karmic. There's the karmic soulmate, which is like absolute hell, right? And we've all experienced that, or most of us have experienced that. And if you haven't, knock on wood, you know, thankfully for you. But... Not all karmic relationships are hell. There's also positive karma. There's people that come in to teach us to, um, you know, love ourselves in a, in a positive way or give us a taste of a healthy relationship. And so some of you are dealing with that kind of karmic. But when it comes to karmic, you know, the emotions can be intense. They can be really up and down. The passion is going to be off the charts regardless. So I feel those of you where maybe things with Libra have been icy for a while or Libra has been distracted, that I feel like October is starting off that way still. But in the end of the month, it could be where like this passion is coming back or this fire is coming back where like the ice is starting to melt that's what that feels like to me uh for some of you for some of you cross watchers you know this is saying that it might be up to you to take the lead to help libra come out of this heavy serious energy by you know being in the things that are exciting or adventurous or fun or passionate uh could be helpful to your libra uh, in the month ahead next we have here five of swords communication is going to be incredibly important for you in october okay i also feel some of you are very tempted to throw in the towel with your libra um i feel five of swords is coming up for you and not for libra like i feel you're tempted to throw in the towel i feel like you're tempted to give up on your libra in october because you're like oh like the, the libra is getting on my last nerve or libra thinks they know everything or libra is taking their sweet time and i can't wait for them to make a decision anymore like some of you are just on this verge of just like i just I, I love this person or i feel drawn to this person but my god this is not worth the aggravation uh, Five of Swords is telling me a couple of things. Number one, check your deal breakers because you might be triggered by something that is not what you think it is. Like something is happening that's triggering something else in you. And so you're aggravated for the wrong reason. Um, and so it could be that you just need to work something, some issue, internal issue through. For other ones of you, Five of Swords is saying you might be in the past uh, too quick to write people off in general and that you have more work to do with this person, so don't be so quick to write them off. There's a reason why they're here. There's a reason why they're here. And it's not meant for you right now uh, to, to walk away. Unless, like I said, 
unless it's a very toxic situation. You know, unless it's a situation where somebody is being, you know, harmed or abused emotionally, mentally, physically, you know, whatever be it. If it's not a case like that, where it's very clear you need to go, then, you know, this is saying that you're not going to have to, um, like, you, like there, there's still, there's more to learn here. Don't be so quick to walk away or, or write it off. And also address things in the moment while they're small before they become a big issue. Those of you where you are in, a, in an abusive situation, um, you know, I do feel like you're going to be able to get out of it. But there's like some discernment that you're having to practice, like a walking on eggshells or like, you know, not telling the other person everything. And, you know, just kind of like, like picking your battles and just being very you know, just being very, um, you know, ne needing to be very, uh, uh, non, uh, like not making it obvious, not making it obvious what you feel or what you're planning to do. So that I feel that is coming up for some of you as well. Again, I would strongly recommend that you watch your moon sign and rising sign videos, um, in, or um, Venus sign videos for your love reading for October, whatever your sign may be, cross watcher. Um, and you can watch Libra's love video for, um, for the month of October as well. Uh, I do feel like Libra is frustrated though. Overall, I'm feeling a frustrated energy. Like they've set their sights on you. They've decided they want you. And, um, you know, they don't want you to question their methods or the way that they're going about it. That's what it feels like to me. And for some of you, this might be triggering some stuff. And this is going to be a very wonderful gift because it's giving you the opportunity to deal with it so that you won't have that trigger in the future. Okay. Um, I think the ball is going to be in your court cross watcher where things go with Libra. Um, I think some of you are just feeling like Libra's a bit of a handful in October or Libra's being, and Libra's aren't typically overly emotional. I mean, out of the air signs, they're the most emotional from my experience. I love Libra's. I adore Libra's. Um, you know, but Libra just might be coming off to you like they're being short or impatient or opinionated or, or having strong opinions and feelings about things. And you might be like, I'm not used to that. I'm used to Libra being more level headed, or I'm used to Libra being more kind of open to conversation and discussion. And, and you're not seeing that kind of Libra in October, but it's because they're taking this very, very seriously. Okay, my dears. So I hope this is helpful. Again, watch your own love videos. Uh, for October and you can watch Libras as well. I will have a link to the love videos in the description. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do. If you click on the Calendly link in the description of this video, it will take you to the online scheduling page where you will be able to schedule your reading with me. All right, my darlings, I am wishing you the very best. Take care.